In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can get really good with the guns in Splitgate. The first thing I want to talk about is the shooting mechanics. In Splitgate, you're perfectly accurate at any range regardless of whether you're moving or ADSing. This means that it's best to move as much as possible when fighting because it makes you a harder target to hit. Also, try to include your jetpack in close range gunfights as it forces your enemy to be good with vertical motion as well. At long range, it can make sense to stand still to line up a sniper shot, but only if you need to. Also, you really want to avoid ADSing at close range. This is because people can just sprint around you really easily and, this, and lowering your FOV will make them a lot harder to hit. Also, I'd avoid ADSing at medium range because this game really depends on target switching at that range. However, if you're struggling to get one kill before your opponent kills you, I'd recommend ADSing at medium range. But not ADSing at medium range will definitely increase your chances of getting a second kill after your first one. Another thing you want to keep in mind is that switching weapons in this game is really fast, so you really want to avoid trying to reload and just switch your gun the second you run out of ammo. Also, I want to explain how to use the sniper, the shotgun, and the SMG, and I'm also going to compare the battle rifle and the AR. Alright, there's two ways you want to shoot the sniper, one for close range and one for long range. For close range, you just want to no-scope. This is because you don't have to ADS to be perfectly accurate, so quick scoping is a waste of time. A lot of people are in the habit of quickscoping from other games, but this mechanic's useless since in a quickscope you have to line up your shot while hip firing and then scope in and out while you're shooting to make your shot perfectly accurate. There's no point in this since the sniper is already accurate, so don't quickscope. The other way you want to use the sniper is to roughly line up your shot while hip firing and then scope in and finish lining up your shot. I'd recommend this at long range when you can't line up a headshot while hip firing. Keep in mind that this game has a pretty high TTK, so you have time to line up your sniper shot while you're being shot at. In high elo, I'd really recommend taking the extra half second to line up your shot, and in low elo, you could probably afford 2-3 to three seconds to line up your sniper shot. The next gun I want to talk about is the shotgun. This may not be surprising to some people, but as a siege player, the first thing I noticed is that the shotgun's an actual weapon. It's really good at close range, and I'd recommend using it when you get a chance. Also keep in mind it's hit scan with no randomization or pellets, so it will consistently do the same thing when you shoot it at the same place on someone's body. Another thing to keep in mind in this game when using the shotgun is that the only hitboxes that are different are the head and everything that's not the head, so a shotgun shot to the legs and a shotgun shot to the body will do the exact same thing. This will apply to every gun except the railgun, but the shotgun is the only gun you might not aim for the head with, so that's why I mentioned it here. Another gun that I thought was insanely interesting was the SMG. Normally SMGs are balanced by making them inaccurate at long range, but Splitgate doesn't do long range inaccuracy. This means that if the SMG can be used at long range, it just won't do that much damage. So if you run out of ammo in medium or long range gunfights, you definitely want to take out your SMG instead of trying to reload. Also, this thing is really good at close range, so I'd recommend picking it up. The last thing I want to talk about are the battle rifle and the AR. Both of these guns are really good in my opinion, but they're also really different. After looking into both of them, it's pretty clear that the AR was meant to be a close to medium range weapon. The way that this was done was by giving it some recoil, but that recoil really isn't noticeable until long range, and it also has a decent bit of damage drop off. I'd also argue that at medium range, the differences in these guns kind of cancels out and they're pretty much equal. And only at long range is the battle rifle definitively the best gun. Another important thing to know is that if you hit all three shots of the battle rifles burst onto someone's head, it won't kill them, it'll only do 75 damage. I'd say every weapon in this game is really interesting and pretty balanced right now, so I'm going to make a guide on how to use some of the more complicated weapons like the railgun, so subscribe for that. Thanks for watching and I really hope to see you here next time.